What's up guys, Sam here, and this is No Prep News, episode number 5. I apologize, I'm recording this a little later in the day as the sun's going down, so the lighting isn't as good. But still, we got the glow from my phone, and some good stuff to talk about this week. You guys left some great comments last week. There's a whole bunch of stuff I'm going to elaborate on from what you guys were commenting about. First thing is Alex Laughlin's Camaro. I was asking you guys, why the heck was that thing banned? And from what a bunch of people were saying was the nose was extended, which was illegal. And someone also said Kayla had to put a stock nose on her Mustang as well. And then a bunch of people were commenting saying he, like, completely changed, like, the, I, I don't know if you'd call it wheelbase, but, like, the location of the front wheels. Then he had the extended front end and a whole bunch of different things. And some guys were saying, like, you'd line up. Alex's car, because I believe the car he built was a 5th gen Camaro, lined it up next to Ryan's car, and you'd easily be able to see just all the complete, sorry, my phone is on low power mode, I had to click it to make sure it didn't turn off, you'd easily see all the differences between Ryan's car and Alex's car, showing all the ways Alex essentially cheated the rules with building his new car, I think that's just so stupid, you spent all that time and effort building that car, saying you're going to take it to these races, and you cheat the rules and just aren't allowed to do it. You're not Smokey Eunuch doing NASCAR racing back in who knows when. You you just can't cheat like that anymore. So I have no idea why he would do something like that. To me, it just makes complete... Like, it doesn't make any... I was going to say it makes complete sense. It doesn't make any sense at all. Because you spent the time and money and effort building the car, and then but at the same time, you know you're cheating the rules and you're not going to be able to race it. To me, it just seems completely pointless. Then, Joe G, you comment on all my videos. Thank you so much for that. Said, I think Chief and Lutz are going to race their pro mods at No Prep Kings in the Outlaw class and race their other cars in the Invitational class. Just my thoughts. What do you think? And I agree. And I was reading something about No Prep Kings and how it's like they say it's run what you're wrong and all that stuff. But at the same time, there's all these rules and regulations because No Prep originated with run what you're wrong. All there was was the tire size was the only rule. Now with it being no prep kings and have it being like a legit series, now obviously they're going to have to implement some rules. But I just, like with the stuff the guy, like the street outlaws guys in, guys racing, all that stuff, it's like it's so heavily like ruled and all that stuff. I want to see just like a all out run what you, run what you brung, hope you brought enough class. Like literally just no rules at all. Just let them go at it. Door cars only. Because obviously guys are going to bring pro mods. And I, we don't want to see funny cars or top fuel cars running in it. So let's just see the craziest, fastest door cars we can see at these no preps. If guys want to bring their pro mods and risk crashing their pro mods at these no preps, go ahead, do it. If guys got like Birdman's, how he originally had the car with the twin turbos, super lightweight car was like the, it's on like that borderline between like, a pro mod, pro mod, then like guys, because they take the third gen Camaros and you see those Firebirds, they all like look kind of just like pro mods whenever you make them in a drag car. So that's a whole argument. I hate talking about that stuff. Sorry, I started rambling on about that again. But you see guys like that with their stuff, see how fast they can possibly go. See someone like Chief in his car. I mean, obviously Chief's car fits the rules pretty good because he doesn't have some crazy engine in it. But just guys with like the Murder Nova, Doc, like cars like that just... Do whatever you want to and try and make it as fast as you possibly can. So, why isn't there something like that? Is there something like that? Is there some all out, just literally no holds back, nothing, hold, don't hold anything back. At, like, whatever you can fit on your trailer, bring it to there. Are there any no prep races like that at all out there? Or is it all just heavily ruled stuff now? Because I saw some people were talking about it on Facebook, arguing back and forth about what, like, no prep kings is. Some guys were saying, it's a run what you bring event, and the guys were, was replying with, well, look at all the rules and stuff they added, and look at Larry Larson and Birdman, the stuff they've had to do their cars in order to make them slower, because they were literally too fast, and were beating everybody. So, it's not just a true all-out one run, I keep saying one, run what you brung event, and would you be interested in seeing something like that at No Prep Kings, and would you be interested in seeing guys like Chief and Lutz bring their pro mods out and race in that run what you brung event? I think it'd be really cool just to see more race from those guys see chief in the crow and lutz in the 57 and also chief in the crow mod and lutz in mad max just more racing more awesome stuff to see i think it'd be badass and also just the all out run what you run race see how fast these guys can possibly go on a no prep surface that's my thoughts and opinions on it leave your thoughts and opinions on it we'll be discussing all that next week on no prep news then we got a couple of other things now oh the lockup converter we'll discuss that in a little bit, but Jesus is Lord, 
I hope I said that right, said, I wonder if the rules prohibit a turbo car from using nitrous. That would help the giant turbo cars spool up faster than they do. Kind of going off what we were discussing with Birdman last week with him switching over to that giant single turbo. And then, I don't think we've ever had this many people reply to a comment. He had 14 different replies on the comments. And a lot of guys were saying, like, it was back and forth. Some guys were saying, I believe that the turbo cars do use nitrous to spool up. Because you see most of these cars have, sorry, I'll turn my phone off. You see most of these cars have, like, some bottle in there. But a lot of them say they use this CO2 for, like, what Chief said, with the shifter and for the shoots, not for nitrous. But I could see some of these guys using nitrous. Because with the rules to have the giant turbo car, like, it's something that I don't believe is currently implemented into the rules saying you can't do nitrous with the giant turbo. Taking into consideration, they just, re- like, not that long ago, added that rule where you had it go to the single turbo from the twin turbo due to all the weight and that stuff. So, if there's a gray area there, I don't see why guys wouldn't do that. Someone was saying that Daddy Dave said he was interested in trying that with his car. And a bunch of other guys were saying that they know people that run that, but they just don't know if the guys in No Prep Kings run that. Then a bunch of guys were saying they know the No Prep Kings guys run that because they've seen the bottle in the car. But at the same time, you don't truly know what is in that bottle because a lot of guys just use that bottle for, like I said, the shifter and the parachute. And it's just CO2. It's not nitrous oxide for the engine to help the turbo, the big single turbo, spool up and to help them get off the line. What are your thoughts and opinions on that? We'll discuss that some more next week because that's a really interesting topic because a whole bunch of guys were saying, like, this was on, like, other videos of mine, too. I was talking about red light questions, like, what's my favorite power adder? And guys were saying, forget all that. Nitrous and turbo is my favorite. So could we be seeing that in future no prep races. See on the next season of No Prep Kings. Could we be seeing it and stuff like on the list for that kind of stuff and that kind of racing? I know that's not No Prep news, but all the guys that race in No Prep Kings, most of them from the 405 race on the list as well. So obviously it's going to be crossing over. And I think, like, I don't see why they wouldn't do it if it truly does make the car faster, help the big turbo spool up and help them get off the line much quicker. I don't see any reason why they wouldn't do it. And I think it'd be smart for them to do it. The only problem is if it is in the rules and if the rules are saying they are not allowed to do it. What do you guys think about that? Leave your comments down below. We will be discussing that more next week. And before we get into the main topic, this one comment, this was my favorite comment of the week from John. Just how the heck did you get that name on YouTube? Just John. (laughs) He put in quotation marks, my stupid neighbor with the leaf blower. Then he said, says the kid with the cherry bomb Mopar. (laughs) Dude, that made me laugh so hard. I'm like, man, (laughs) he's right. I'm firing this thing up. (laughs) This thing's so loud. And I'm complaining about the guy next door with the dang leaf blower. That was, that was by far my favorite comment of the week. That made me die laughing. But now, time to get into the main topic of this week. And it is these pesky converters. Should you run lockup converters or should you not run lockup converters? That is the million dollar question right now. We were discussing this last week and Daddy Dave himself made a post talking about this. He said, I'm going to be on a no phone family vacation for five days. So I want to leave this with, leave you with this question. Lock up converters. Allow them in season four of No Prep Kings. Yes or no and why. Big stick in pot. Should some be allowed to run one and not others? Peace out. Then some people were commenting. Yes, add a rule. You can't call out a broke car or something incapable of making a pass. I have zero understanding why this isn't a run what you brung. This is the this is what I was talking about. I have no idea. I have zero understanding why this isn't a run what you brung deal anyway. Birdman is too fast. Turbo weight rule. Larson is too fast. His truck is illegal. Kai and Lizzie almost beat Ryan. Ban lockup converters. That guy's saying Kai and Lizzie are running lockup converters. And it seems like from that trend we just saw, that was the million dollar comment right there. This guy replied on Daddy Dave. He was saying, why isn't this a run Richard Brung? And then he gives three prime examples. Two things that happened recently in the current problem right now is these other guys, not the 405 guys, are beating the 405 guys, taking the crown and the trophy. Obviously, Discovery and Pilgrim want to see the 405 guys do better. So instead of the 405 guys making them change their cars to compete with these other cars, with these other 
things they've done to it, the like the weight with Larson, or the weight with Birdman, the truck dimensions with Larson, and other lockup converters with Kai and Lizzie, instead of making the 405 guys go and change it, they're making the guys with that stuff change it, so the other guys, like the 405 guys, like Ryan, don't have to change anything at all. I think that's kind of shitty. Like, I mean, it. There, there's no other explanation to that. You can clearly see what's going on. And if they ban lockup converters, it's like there's no question about it anymore. I mean, yes, some people might say there's no question about it currently. But if they ban lockup converters, there truly is no question about it. Saying that they don't change the rules to fit their preferred drivers, their favorite drivers, the guys that make this stuff, the guys that film the big higher-ups in charge of all this stuff, there's no saying they aren't building the rules to fit their preferred drivers. If every season you see someone that is fast, and the reason why they're fast, you make a rule against that instead of making your drivers have to change and adapt in order to compete with these other cars make them change with the times make them upgrade their cars instead you make those other guys that have figured something out found something to make them faster found that something special and instead you kick them in the nuts and tell them they can't do that they got to take it out of the car make all these changes to their cars they add all these different rules just to make those other guys slower so their guys will remain as fast as they are and don't have to change a thing i'm gonna leave it at that what do you guys think about that we had a couple comments i'll discuss real quick from what you guys were saying with lockup converters jesse ds said guys with lower lower horsepower motors run a lockup converter guys like ryan and lizzie have a hard time running a lockup too much power puts the car into tire shake now this guy's saying they have a hard time running lockup so he's saying they don't run a lockup converter but then that other guy that left that comment that we were discussing on daily days post said right here that Kai and Lizzie almost beat Ryan, ban lockup. So they, this other guy's saying they run lockup converters. So I guess that's the big question for next week's episode. Are Kai and Lizzie running lockup converters? Yes or no? Why? If you have any explanation, leave a comment down below. I'll gladly discuss it in next week's episode. And what I was saying with them changing the rules to fit their drivers, what do you think about that? I'm going to leave it at that for you guys for this episode this week's episode of no prep news thank you all so much for watching and i hope you guys know some of you might have noticed i shaved i was doing no shave november with my friends and man did i hate it i'd be wearing my hoodie it'd be all itchy and stuff and it just annoyed me so finally clean shaven once again got that stuff all off and go looking back like my normal self hope you guys enjoyed the video and thank you all so much for watching make sure you guys tune in tomorrow on monday for a new episode of red light questions tuesday or thursday for a new episode of door shutters there might not be a video of betsy on wednesday because it's freezing cold outside and it might snow this week sucks but yeah unfortunately no video of betsy on wednesday but then as always on friday a new episode of serious talk and next sunday a new episode of no prep news all these videos are uploaded live at 6 p.m central standard time so make sure you guys click that little bell turn notifications on so you don't miss a single video that i upload and make sure you guys leave your comments down below again the core of this show the core of no prep news is discussing the stuff that you guys leave your comments about in the comment section down below so make sure you guys leave your comments down below so we'll be discussing everything you guys comment about in next week's episode of no prep news again make sure you guys click that little bell turn notifications on so you don't miss a single video that i upload and make sure you guys follow me on instagram at sim abc xyz don't forget to like and subscribe and this is sim abc xyz signing out